How to defeat the Medusa and get the preserved Medusa head in Dragon's Dogma 2. How's it going everybody, Mr. After Games here. In this video I'll be showing you how to defeat the Medusa and get the preserved Medusa head. Also I'll be showing you how to turn Medusa into stone. So basically here you have three trophies if you're playing on PlayStation or three achievements if you're playing on Xbox. We're gonna start with first of all how to get the weapon that I'm using here and this one is the only weapon that can uh, defeat the Medusa the proper way. So it's uh, about the bolts from the blue daggers. We need to go from uh, Vernworth. You can uh, go to the checkpoint rest town and then you need to follow the road until you get here. When you see this valley you need to go down the valley but be careful there will be some lizards here. So if you're a thief as I was uh, you won't be able to uh, deal any damage to them. So it's better to avoid them uh, as much as you can or uh, wait until your uh, pawns will uh, defeat them because as I said you can't uh, take, uh, deal them any damage. Afterwards you need to go here on the right. There is this broken bridge so jump on, on these platforms on this uh, parts of the bridge then jump down and now you need to take a right here wait until all your pawns are with you and then jump down and now we're gonna need to climb so from this point onwards we're gonna climb climb on this rock here we're gonna go in a cave basically so climb all the way to the top and here is gonna be an entrance to a cave just uh, to show you on the map where where I am at the moment it's called Winworth Gully this is the cave here and we're gonna need to get inside there'll be more uh, saurians inside so try to defeat them with your pawns because again if you're playing with a thief here you won't be able to deal them any damage but once the fight will be over you will be able to to get uh, what's inside of the chest and that's bolts from the blue which will um, give you electricity damage on the Medusa and that's uh, the only way you could uh, kill her. I've seen a lot of videos people telling, telling uh, you can do it with another weapon. Yeah, maybe that's the case. It didn't work for me. So this is the only way I could defeat her by getting the bolts from the blue. If you think this video helped you so far, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Again, this is the location on the map. Just wanted to show you as uh, slow as possible the Winworth Gully north of checkpoint rest town now what we need to do is to go to the medusa lair i had a, a port crystal there because i i was there previously trying to defeat her so i left at least, at least the port crystal there um, i'll be showing you how i did it so teleport here this is the location but i'll be showing you also how to get there from uh, bug battle so uh, if you have uh, a port crystal here in bug battle uh, because I put a port crystal there as well. Uh, you need to follow the road to the west, uh, southwest actually. Go here on this crossroads, go over this bridge and then follow the path until you get here. This is the location for the Medusa layer. So also, yeah, you could have used a teleport, a fairy stone and then you arrived here. I advise you to do a save, uh, save here. Also, if you've been to Bug Batal, just do a um, save at the inn or you can uh, sleep uh, over at your house. Now we're gonna need to get inside and uh, what we need to do is to jump on Medusa's back and cut her head. It sounds easy but uh, it can be complicated because she moves a lot. So uh, try to jump on her back uh, and climb her by pressing uh, holding R2 if you're playing on PlayStation until you get to the top of her head. That's the most important thing. When you aren't climbing you know you are on uh, top of her head you can see here I'll, I'll show you in a second so here I was climbing and then I reached her head now I knew for sure I was at her head you can see those little serpents uh, moving uh, around and I was dealing uh, a lot of damage you can adjust in case you you don't know exactly if you're on top of her head uh, try to adjust and uh, start uh, dealing damage if you for some reason have dealt uh, more than uh, two damage bars of, uh, of Medusa uh, you won't be able to get this uh, perfect uh, preserved uh, Medusa head so you need to restart that's why I, I advise you to do that uh, save there 
just in case you can close the game and that's it you can see i in just uh, 10 15 seconds i've uh, finished this don't forget to get the head from the ground the preserve uh, head and also collect uh, all the rewards uh, but to get the, the head that's the most important thing then the spell bow and the granite medusa bone another uh, bonus here it's another uh, chest that i'll be showing you in a second just go there to the other entrance to the uh, to the side of the cave and you're gonna get a hood of uh, non-entity one of the hoods in the in the game now what you need to do fast as possible you need to put the head in storage so i advise you to use any port crystal and go to the storage you know to put her head there so you won't uh, deteriorate over time and uh, because i had a port crystal at bug battle i went here and the um, Ian was pretty close, so I used the storage here. Put the head. Hopefully it shows preserved. Preserved head. If it doesn't show preserved, you need to do this all over again. Next step is to wait for 7 days. So you can sleep at the inn or at uh, your house, if you have a house in Bagbatal. Or you can wait on the bench, just uh, press those off uh, for... Uh, 20 times something like this 20 25 times and uh, once the days will be changed and uh, you will be waiting for seven days you can come back i've seen people saying 14 days but uh, no seven days it's enough now if you had the poor crystal there we need to come back but uh, first of all get the preserved medusa head from the storage and now as quickly as possible we need to go to the medusa layer Again, if you put a port crystal, that's uh, really useful to, to have it there. So I've used the uh, fairy stone to teleport to the port crystal in front of the cave. And then I wait inside. Uh, this is for the other uh, trophy where we need to freeze uh, Medusa to turn her into stone. And uh, that's what I had to do. So uh, we're going to need to equip the head once we are very close to, to her. And then we're going to choose uh, Brandish to uh, use the ability of the Metuza head. So equip the head, as easy as that. It's gonna be like you have a lantern on your uh, side. So equip the preserved head as the first thing, then try to go behind her so she won't start uh, gazing at you. And then uh, pick uh, equip and uh, next uh, it's uh, brandish. And then we're gonna hopefully get an eye for an eye. That's why I said we got three trophies. So quick uh, press brandish and then you're gonna start gazing at her. And she will start to turn herself into stone and hopefully you're gonna get the trophy. If you have any issues with uh, any of uh, these steps, just let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to help you. Again, you need the preserved head, cut off its head if you defeat her and uh, an eye for an eye if uh, you've done this step to, to freeze her. I'm sh just showing you again what to do. Hopefully this video helped you. Don't forget to smash the like button. That would definitely help me back. Also subscribe to the channel for more awesome Dragon's Dogma 2 videos. I'm gonna post uh, at least three videos a day, so check an eye out on the channel. Maybe the, my videos will uh, help you and ring the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thank you all and see you in my next video. Bye!